Moikka moi! Been there, done that. That's kind of the topic, in a way, <laughs> for this video. Hi, it's Rika Kovasin here, and this time I'm doing an art journaling spread. The title references also to the text I then added to my journal page later on, but also to the techniques I'm using, because it's just using the stuff I already have at hand and on my table. That's something that when I'm creating and not doing a video, for example, kind of guides my doing. So there usually is some kind of little pieces of paper leftovers from other projects, and I like to utilize those and make something new. This time I thought to make a video out of it. So I'm first building the background layer. Like so often, I use a plain A4 to start with and cut that to size fitting inside my journal. Then on top, I'm collaging bits and pieces and later on, I'm then again attaching the pieces to the journal. But now I'm adding these pink pieces to the base using a matte collage medium. These pinks are from a Facebook Live I kept, so they are kind of off-cut trimmings of the cards I made, but I didn't throw the, even the smaller bits away, because they can be used. And then I'm adding another element to the cards, and these are, again, off-cuts from some bird ATCs. If you're following my channel, you will notice, or probably remember those. So I used the off-cuts from those bird ATCs published earlier this month to this journal page. The pink ones are made using acrylics, so they are okay, but as you might remember, those blue papers are made using watercolors, so they will react with the gel medium a little bit, but it doesn't matter. It, they don't smudge that much. When I then have all the bits and pieces I want for this kind of first layer, I then dry the sheet before continuing. After drying the collage medium, I then need something to kind of combine the different pieces together. And I thought, hey, I'll use acrylic. I happen to have this really dark blue at hand, leftovers again. So I'm first grabbing that and adding that to the page, but I don't want to use that to the whole page, not go going through all the little gaps, because otherwise it would turn too dark. So I then grab the same pink that I used for the gel prints that I collaged into the first layer and mix that in. So that gives a nice kind of continuity throughout the whole page or the background. To fit everything nicely together, I then add some splashes <laughs> throughout the whole piece to tie everything up. After adding those paints, I then dried the sheet and cut it to the two pieces and then adhered those two to my journal using double-sided tape. The next layer I'm then adding is some stamping. I'm using just one ink, my go-to archival jetpack but mixing in a couple of stamps to get this eclectic texture going on. As I'm working on top of acrylics, which makes the paper non-absorbing, I then use a heat tool quickly to dry the ink, so it won't munch when I'm then continuing with some acrylic markers. When I have those done, I'm happy with the background, and I'm then building some kind of a cluster on top. I'm using also elements that were in the table already. I was really hoping to use a couple of birds in here as well, that were leftovers from the ATCs, but they are just way too big to be used here. So instead I added some text in the form of text stickers to the left side page, but I'm kind of determined to get the birds in, so as the finishing touch, I then add a little bird's nest and a feather to the page, so that kind of brings in the ATCs as well. And then the page is done. 
I hope you find this video inspirational, like how you can use even the smallest bits and pieces by collaging them, or how you can try out different color combos, because maybe without this project I wouldn't have come up with using this really vibrant pink together with dark blue. And if you watch closely next week, that might have influenced the next project then. So thank you for watching today, and I'll hope I'm seeing you within a week. Remember to subscribe if you like the video. Thank you so much, and bye!